isn't it? Certainly is. Come on, Ziggy, got a shout to well, you. Shout out, where are, are you, Richard? Thank you, boys and girls. It's a handy trick, Zig, if you can do it. And I'm in Kettering in Montague School for a special half-term edition of Get Your Drawers Down. Handy we had this sign, really. The price today is a new three-disc mini hi-fi from Sanyo with cinema surround sound, 24-track programmable memory, and twin cassette deck worth almost 350 quid. Now, as I said, it's half-term at Montague School, which should mean it's deserted. Or is it? <laughs> Because we invited all the pupils, all the teachers, and in fact everyone around the area to come down this morning to play Get Your Drawers Down, the competition where we throw pairs of knickers out of a window into waiting drawers down here for top, top prizes. Now the qualifying question was, or the qualifying thing they had to do to rise to the challenge, was to bring along a truly horrendous piece of underwear. Now these are all the offerings here. Hold up your pants, please. Show us your pants. And Zig and Zag are going to be the judges of what is the most truly horrendous piece of underwear. So, Zigamund and Zagabobbin, are you there, sirs? Hiya, Richie! Hi, Rich! Hiya, guys. All right, let's, we, let's take a gander, shall we? Yes, 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 at the please! Front. Right, well, those are pretty bog standard. No, and then we've okay. got, um, got some eggs on those. Some, no, they're all right. some horrible oh, white fronts. Oh, those brown ones! Uh, a little crocodile crotch thing. Um, some sort of thing there, I'm not quite sure about that. Hi, Mom! Uh, a snake, what's that? Those um, ones! Those ones! Those creamy ones! Those creamy ones! Creamy black ones! The cream ones? The cream ones! Yes! Okay, yes. Well, if you'd like to step down, madam, and we'll take a, another wander down here. We've got someone on a teddy bear. Um, let's have a look. Uh, no, we'll pass over those. <laughs> um, we've got these as well. Um, what else? Um, we've got hold them up, hold them up, hold them up. Um, Where's those horrible blue? Uh, some, look at, oh have a take a look at these. Have a look at these. Have a look at these. Massive. Yes, 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 yes. In you come, sir. You are our second contestant. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Bring me your pants down. Cheers, Zig and Zach. Oh, right then, let's talk to our contestants. What's your name? Lisa. Lisa. And uh, are those yours? No, I'm afraid not. Whose are they? Um, my granddad. Your granddad, does he know that you brought them down today? No. He does now. I don't think he'd be too happy about them. And uh, what's your name? Carl Baker. Now listen, Carl, who on earth would live in pants like those? Your gran. Your gran? Does gran know that you brought her pants yeah, down to show the nation? This morning, yeah. She's happy about that? Not too bothered. So this is what grans wear, is it? Yeah. Oh, interesting, isn't it? Yeah, anyway, um, right, so let's find out who the teachers are who are playing today. First of all, we've got Robert here. Robert, now what do you teach? Uh, geography. Geography. So if I was to say, where are we, you'd be able to answer? I'm uh, fairly sure at Montague School in Kettering. Uh, grid reference? Uh, well, couldn't, couldn't give you that one, no. Ah, right, yeah, so not too, not too on the ball, but you're our first teacher who's going to be throwing the underwear out there. Yeah. Now, we need a second teacher. Have you got any recommendations? Second teacher, well, um, I think probably the chap behind the chap with the beard over there. The, the chap with the beard, always a shady-looking character. OK, let's go over here. Oh, let's, oh, here we go. Yes, you, sir. Hello, what's your name? Hello. Anthony Gainey. Now listen, what do you teach? Business studies. I believe that you've got a nickname. It's the Ginger Business Beast. Why is that? <laughs> um, I haven't got a clue, really. No little stories to tell us by any chance? Not at all, no. Not where the not kids are around. Time, anyway. All right, well, do you want to play our game as well? Do you want to be the other teacher throwing underwear out? Oh, well, why not? All right, then, OK, that's it. Uh, get your drawers down. A half-term special in Montague School in Kettering. It's over to Vanessa. Hello, I'm so impressed by that underwear. I Who know. A rich variety of underwear in that place. Uh, I can't hear very well, well Vanessa, but it's safe to say it is rather disturbing. A it's disturbing a, collection of underwear. It's a rich collection. I was brought up in knickers. Because my father was known as Norman the Knicker King. Really? He used to man behind the scenes no. that I could see there. No, no TSC and microphone. You tried to pretend it wasn't glamorous, and we could all see it was really glamorous. It was fantastic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was really glamorous, wasn't it? I don't mind washing my hair in a sink. I wouldn't care if I could I be a boy, cool. though. Yeah, exactly. And he, this doctor here, he hasn't paid any attention to any of them. No, all he's I'm doing is phone. Maybe top of the screen. Thank you. It's the only way I can hear her in Kettering! <laughs> and we're playing Get Your Drawers Down, as you can see. Good shot, not a bad shot. So this is the game. They're going to be chucking underwear out of the windows into the drawers here. Here are our two contestants. We've got Lisa. Lisa, you ready for this? Yeah. Just about. Good. And we've got Carl over here. Carl, the grand's wife, runs earlier on. But are you ready for the challenge, sir? I am indeed. Good. And our teachers are at the top there. We've got Robert. Robert, everything OK? Yeah. Got any last-minute tactics to share with us at all? <laughs> all right, mate. And you're all right as well, Anthony. The ginger business piece, of course it is. All right, then. OK, get ready for your blindfolds on. 30 seconds to collect as many pieces of underwear as you can. 30 seconds on the clock. Get your drawers down. Go!
I can't hear a word. It's all over. Thank you. Thank you. All over. And you can't catch that. Please don't throw any more pieces of underwear. Let's put the drawers down on the drawers and have a look at the scores on the drawers. Okay, Lisa has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 for Lisa. We're playing for a mini hi-fi system here. So here we go, Cobb, 22 to beat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, listen, I can count at this school. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. He's done it! Lisa, bad luck, I'm afraid, but thanks very much for playing. Carl, you've won yourself a mini hi-fi system with cinema surround sound. Well done to you, well done to you. And thanks very much to our teachers as well. Now, obviously, we're out of school. Well, I want to take you a bit of an essay now, guys. So this is the question that you've got to answer in the next 20 minutes. I'm going to give you a rough book, some pens. We want you to write the essay. Keep Che Gwynn as a top life entertainment personality. Discuss. It's back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> you naughty boy. <laughs> Richard. <laughs> he may have bad taste in pants, but he won there. <laughs> I think they're going to be stumped with that essay, Richard, let me tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> Down there, you wouldn't believe. He's out and about. Richard, where are you? Thank you oh, very much, quiet. Keith. Yes, I'm in Kettering at Montague School. Uh, we've just got all the kids here doing an essay for us today. The question was, uh, Keith Chegwin is a top light entertainment personality. Discuss. I think they're finishing off now. Can I have all your essays in, please, guys? Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll read out a selection of some of the best, Keith. I hope you're watching. Uh, this, these are some of their answers. Uh, Tash says, um, Keith is a top light entertainment personality because he is a swap shop hunk. Okay. Uh, the next one is, uh, Keith, you're a star and we think you'd look fantastic in a Wonder Woman suit. <laughs> Who said that? Was that you, Marie? Why? No, it just looks like he'd look fantastic in a Wonder Woman suit. Then pants would go, Wonder Woman! Have you got a little thing for Keith at all, Marie, by any chance? It's not Marie, it's Hannah. <laughs> oh, it's Hannah. Have you got yeah. a little thing for Keith? No, I just think he's cute. <laughs> oh, right, there you go, Keith. There you go. Schoolgirl fans. Okay, the next one is... Um, but uh, the, someone says, um, Cheggers is the best. He's done everything from recording music to just sitting there on the big breakfast. We think he is a top light entertainment personality. Someone says he's the spitting image of Superman. And uh, Zoe Ball is his Lewis Lane, if she can stand the heat and the smell. And then they've written a poem. <laughs> Keith is the best, not like the rest. Is that supposed to be, is this something amusing you? Uh, <laughs> Keith is the best, not like the rest. So come and be my neighbour and my mum will wash your vest, Keith. And he finishes off by saying, the streets are safe with Keith about. He's my idol. Very strange. Uh, and Amanda says, uh, Keith has a, a weird dress sense and he is sort of funny. Okay, and uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's about it, really. That's it. That's everyone's essay. So well done to you. Well done. T Keith, well, you're a top yeah. light entertainment personality. We have discussed it. It's back to that, and I can't hear a thing, mate. So don't even attempt to talk to me. <laughs> I know those problems on outside broadcast. I like Keith is the best, always in his vest. I like that one. Yeah, no, yeah. he's very 